You always have a fight you don't see coming. I think that uh, there's a, a historical river that uh, is running red with the blood of truth tellers. The beauty of being American, when we're scared, we reach for our higher selves, yeah. not our lower selves. I'm angry at 31, you angry at 16. Y'all coming with a better way? We ain't doing it. And I have a five-year-old son, and it ain't happening. The same exact thing night after night after night. Coming with a better way. I feel a rage this afternoon. A deep, all-consuming rage. My people don't want no trouble. We got enough on strong I feel a sadness this afternoon. One that makes me feel spineless. One that paralyzes my hand and my feet. One that confuses me. Dr. King was a young man when he got involved. Cesar Chavez was a young man. Malcolm X was a young man. The, the leaders of the feminist movement were, were young people. The leaders of union movements were, were young people. You, you've communicated the sense of urgency uh, that is as powerful as transformative as anything that I've seen uh, in recent years. Whatever position I occupied, it was as the result of my colleagues, my comrades in the movement. And I'm sitting, and I'm listening, and I'm smiling, and I'm remembering, and I feel a love this afternoon. Just make sure that we now follow through. And it's very important for us to take the momentum that has been created as a society, as a country, and say, this is something that's gotta change. The very fact that we have filed these charges means that we believe in them. But what I do not believe is that one successful prosecution can rectify the hurt and loss that so many people feel. The solution to that pain will be slow and difficult work of constructing justice and fairness in our society. He did what? That changed the world. That changed the world. <laughs>